Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the tap tempo button for delay pedals. Now if you have a delay pedal with a tap tempo button, I'm going to show you how you can use it and how you can maximize it to create some cool sound delays, giving you that really, really pro sound. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. In this video then, we're going to be taking a look at the tap tempo button for delay pedals, but if you haven't done it already, click like to like the video, hit subscribe to subscribe to the channel, and click that alert bell so you don't miss any updates. Right then, let's just get stuck in. As I said, we're going to be looking at the tap tempo button for delay pedals. Now, I won't be using this one for the demonstration. I'm going to use something else. I've set the camera up so you can see how I'm tapping. But essentially, what you'll have if you have a delay pedal similar to this is you'll have a button which will say the word tap or tap tempo. So essentially what that is, it allows you to input the speed or the tempo or the time of the song into your delay pedal. So you'll tap along with it and what you can do with that then, you can sync your delays up to that tempo. Now that is super, super useful for many, many circumstances. For example, if you play in a band, and your drummer sometimes doesn't always have the exact same tempos for his, the songs. Maybe there are a few BPM out here and there. That's fine because you can use the tap tempo to tap along and sync up your delays. It's also great if you have a song that changes tempo halfway through. If it starts slow and gets faster, you can use the tap tempo to sync up your delays. There's lots and lots of really cool things you can do with it. And what it will do, it'll sync your delays up perfectly to the time of the song and just sound really, really pro. This is a feature of delay pedals that I couldn't live without when I'm doing live performances. If I was doing a big gig, often what I'll do is I'll program specific sound for specific songs, which allows me to sync delays up to backing tracks or just to the tempo of the performance. However, for other gigs, other situations where you're sort of programming delays on the fly, tempo changes, this tamp tempo feature is so, so, so important and it sounds so pro. So if you're into guitarists like The Edge, perfect example of how he gets all those perfectly syncopated delays, the tap tempo is really, really, really useful. Useful. Now, yes, you can sit down and figure out the actual millisecond time for all your delays. You can do that, and that is fantastic. However, like I said, if you're in a band, for example, you're going to a jam lights and the songs are different tempos, and you've preset a delay at a certain millisecond, and the drummer plays at a different tempo, it's going to sound out. With a tap tempo, you don't need to worry about that. We just sync the delays, tap along, and it's all fantastic. So let's get stuck into some playing then. So this is the sound I'm going to use. It's super, super dry and super clean. <laughs> No reverb or anything like that. It's a super clean sound, and I'm going to be using the tap tempo, and we're going to be layering different types of delays. So I'm going to start off. What you're going to need to do, you're going to need to go to your delay, whatever delay pedal you have, and set your delay tempo to a quarter note, okay? So a quarter note, also known as a crotchet delay. And essentially what it's going to do is, when I play a note, it's going to repeat each delay repeat on every single beat. So for example, if I counted one, two, three, four, I played a chord on the one the delay will repeat on the one two three four if I tap the tempo which we're going to look at now so essentially what I'm going to do I have a tap tempo button here if I count along to my song and we're getting one two three four I essentially tap the foot switch like this in time with the song so one two three four tap 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 okay so I'll just turn the delay on and I'll do the same again so I get one two three three, four. I'm tapping along and I'm going to play one strum of my guitar and the delays will repeat on the one, two, three, four like this. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four. Like that. So basically that's just going to be, with that delay I've set up a quarter note. So that is just where your delay is going to repeat on every single quarter note, so on every beat. And that's it. So say the song was faster, say we had one, two, three, four, I tap one, two, three, four. I'm still tapping on the beat and I play one. <laughs> Okay, it's on every single beat like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a metronome on just so it's really, really clear. I'll play something simple like that and then I'll start playing and experimenting with some more chords so you can hear exactly how it sounds. Here it is at 100 BPM. So here we go, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. 
Okay, so as you can hear there then, the delay is repeating on every single beat. Now, what I'll do now, I'll just play along with some more chords and I'll stop and you'll hear how the delay sort of just catches all the beats. And then what I'll do, halfway through this, I'll blend it in with the drum beat, okay? And it all sounds like this. Two, three, four. Okay, so as you can hear there, all my delays are so perfectly in sync with everything else that's going on. It just sounds so much more pro and it allows you to play off the delay a little bit there. I was playing a couple of little things and the delay was bouncing around and it just sounds really, really cool. And that is simply me tapping the tempo as I did. I set the tempo to 100 BPM, so it syncs in with a metronome or the tempo of your drummer or whatever it is. And then I've just have the delay set to a quarter and that's it. Now I had the delay mix, which is basically the volume of the delay pretty high, just so it's quite clear on the video. Now you don't have to do that. That's another video altogether talking about how to program delays. This is simply how to use a tap tempo. So let's move this on a bit then. Let's talk about an eighth note delay. So in this patch, I have, again, my dry sounds exactly the same. Now this time I have what's called an eighth note delay. So an eighth note delay, if you look in the menu of your delay pedal, if you set it to an eighth note, basically it's like a quaver or an eighth note. So if I was to tap one, two, three, four, and I play a chord, we get eighth note repeats. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... You can get some really, really cool sounds with eighth note delays like this. Also, as well as doing them for chords as a demonstration of this, you can use all this sort of stuff on solos, but for now, this is purely demonstrating the tap tempo. So let me just pop a metronome on and I'll show you how that sounds because it's easier with the sense of time. This is it at 100 BPM. So here we go. One, two, three, four. So you can really hear those eight notes. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's an eighth note delay. What I'm gonna do now then, I'm just gonna play some chords to show you how that one sounds. And I'm gonna tap along. I'll start off with the metronome and I'll blend in the drum beat as we go. All sounds like this. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so they're super cool as well. And again, all I'm doing to get that delay in sync with the drum beat, with the metronome, is just tapping that tempo. And that is the beauty of the tap tempo. Because if, let's just say I've set my delay, I'm just gonna tap it randomly here, so it's not in time. So if I play along with the metronome, it's not in time. Now if I do the same sort of thing as I did before with the metronome, 
tapped randomly so if you just randomly set your delay at anything you hadn't tapped it it sounded like this so one two three four can you hear it's like speeding up it's actually throwing me off a little bit Oh, it's making me want to play it wrong. I'm, I'm completely out of time. There, the tap is faster than the actual tempo of the song, and it just sounds all messy. So you sound so much more pro when the delays are in time programmed, the quarter note, an eighth note, a sixteenth note. It doesn't matter. It depends what you want the delay to sound like. And you can do that by using the tap tempo. So let's move on to another example. This is going to be when you set the delay at a dotted eighth note, okay? So normally it says an eighth, like the fraction, with a D next to it, the letter D. And that gives you a dotted eighth note, super common, for someone like The Edge. If you like The Edge, this is the sort of thing he does a lot of the time. And it sounds like this. So if I get with a tap, so here we go. So one, two, three, four. That's what a dotted eighth note sounds like. Now, it might sort of th th blow your brains a little bit, that sort of sound, but it's super, super edgy edgy so it's edgy and like the edge just kind of going to use that again so let me just play some chords with it i'm gonna do the same thing start with the metronome and then eventually i'm going to blend in the drum beat and i'll do the same sort of chord pattern and it all sounds like this so one two three four <laughs> Okay, that was an example of how you can do with the dotted eighth note delay. It sounds super cool. Now, there's loads of other stuff you can do. If you've got a stereo rig, you can put ping pong delays. With the tap tempo, you're going to sound really, really pro, and all your delays are always going to sync up to the songs. So let me just show you another little trick you can do with the tap tempo. So let's just say, for example, your delay pedal only allows you to set one delay type, okay? So you can only set, for example, a quarter note delay, but you like the sound of a quarter and an eighth note delay. You can just do this sort of thing. So you can just tap at different speeds, which gives you different delay repeats. So for example, okay, if I was just on my quarter note delay again, so one, two, three, four. Okay, that quarter note delay. If I wanted it to sound like an eighth note, well, I simply just tap twice as fast. So I'd get one and two and three and four. And so I'm just tapping an eighth note, but my delay set to a quarter note. So I'd get this. Four, one, two, and three, and four. So this tapping on the beat, two, three, four, just gets me two, three. And if I tap an eight, so one, and two, and three, and four, and I get twice as many delay repeats. Three, and four. Just like that, okay? So let me do that with a metronome, and I'll show you how it sounds. So one, two, three, four. There you can hear the delay repeats on every beat. Okay, now for example, let's say I wanted to bring in an eighth note repeat. Well, I'm just gonna tap twice as fast. So I'm gonna do one and two and three and four and one. And there we've doubled up the delay. Three and four and one and two and... And back to the quarter notes, one, two, three, four. 
Let's go back to the eighth note. So I'm going to tap one and two and three and four and one. As simple as that. And I'm literally just doing that by changing the amount of times or the amount of speed that I'm pressing that tap tempo button. Now, a little tip again when pressing the tap tempo, I, normally what I try to do is I try and give it a bar or two, especially if you're live and you've got a bit of time. It's nice to sort of just feel the rhythm and feel the groove and just tap along with the beat. So I normally give it a bar or two and I like to press the final tap on my one. So when I count in, I get one, two, three, four, one. So I like to press the one as well. Personally, everyone sort of will find their own way to do it, but that's just how I like to do it personally. Okay, so of course I can tap at other tempos as well. Let me just show you another example like this. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there I created a half note delay repeat. Not something I often use, but the options there, you know, depending if the tempo is a bit faster, you might want that. At 100 BPM, they're a bit drawn out, but each to their own, it depends on what you're trying to create. Okay, so as well as setting the delays perfectly in time, you can do things like that as well. And often that's how I'll use the tap tempo. So I'll maybe just set one to delay amount to quarter note or an eighth note and I'll tap at different tempos to get other things so for example if I went the other way if I set my eighth note delay on this time so this is my eighth note one two three four if I had an eighth note delay set and I just wanted it to be quarter notes I just tap less so one two three four one two and then I get a quarter note so of course if I tap even slower I can get a half note delay repeat if you want to so this is going to be quite slow so i'm going to tap one two three four one two three four one two three four and i get that half note repeat so that is just kind of like maths you know often people say music's related to maths delays absolutely are related to math so i'm just you know using the equations and the amount of times i'm tapping to create different sort of sounds if that's kind of blowing your brains just get the pedal in front of you and experiment. Have a bit of fun and see what happens. There's loads and loads of cool stuff that you can do with all these sort of things. Whether you're using it for rhythm parts to create a bit of ambience, whether you're using it for your lead parts, I find it just sounds so much more pro when your delay repeats are in time. And with the tap tempo, there's no excuse not for your delayed repeats to be in time because that is what it's there for. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. There was lots of information in that video, so you may need to go over a few times or slow it down and just, you know, just try all these things out as you're kind of progressing through the video. If you did like the video, hit like to like the video, hit subscribe to subscribe to the channel, and click that alert bell if you don't miss any updates. If you want any more content, check my YouTube channel out. There's loads of other videos like this, pro tips and lessons and all this sort of thing. Also, come over and check my guitar school out, www.fretlix.com. Loads of great courses and lessons guaranteed to help you become a better guitarist hope you enjoyed that video and i will see you again soon